Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your WatchGuard SSL VPN by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your WatchGuard SSL VPN using the Fireware web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console. Click Create slash Register VM. Select Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click Next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click Next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance. Hit the escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, Open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now add a new configuration to accept authentication requests from your WatchGuard SSL VPN. Click Create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the LoginTC administration panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type WatchGuard. And then click WatchGuard SSL VPN. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to view. Copy the API key and paste it. Click test and next. Now configure first factor authentication, also known as password authentication. If you use a Radius server for first factor authentication, you can select Radius. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using Active Directory. Enter the Active Directory host and port. Then in the bind details, bind DN field, enter the distinguished name of a user with read access to the directory. Enter their password as well. This account will be used by the LoginTC Radius Connector to connect to Active Directory and validate user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes. Next, configure the group attribute. 
WatchGuard SSL VPN expects successful authentication requests from Radius authentication servers to include a Radius group attribute to authorize the user. If the user is part of the specified group in Active Directory, then the Radius group attribute will contain that group name. If the user is not part of the group, then no attribute will be returned and WatchGuard will not authorize the user. The default radius group attribute for WatchGuard is 11 or filter ID. For the AD group, enter a comma delimited list of the groups configured for authorization on your WatchGuard SSL VPN. The default group is SSL VPN users. Once configured, scroll down, click test, and then next. Pass-through is an optional feature to control which users must be challenged with second factor. Pass-through can be configured based on a static list of usernames or based on Active Directory group membership. This is useful in a testing environment or to control the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged, so pass-through will be set to no pass through. Finally, configure the Radius client, which is in this case your WatchGuard SSL VPN. Enter the name of the client, which will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address of the WatchGuard SSL VPN. Remember to pick the IP address from the network perspective of the deployed Login TC Radius Connector virtual appliance. Enter a secret that will be shared between your WatchGuard VPN and the LoginTC Radius connector. Pick challenge mode for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test, and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the Administration panel and from the Domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click Create Member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your Login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with Login TC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the Test Configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Configuration. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your WatchGuard SSL VPN using the Fireware Web UI interface. On the LoginTC Radius Connector under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the WatchGuard Fireware Web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. Now you will add the LoginTC Radius Connector as a new Radius Authentication Server. Click Authentication. 
then click servers. Under authentication servers, click radius. Select enable radius server. Enter the IP address of the login C radius connector virtual appliance. Set the port to 1812. Enter the same shared secret used when creating the configuration on the login C radius connector. Set the timeout to 90 seconds, the retries to one, and dead time to 10 minutes. Scroll down and click save. Now configure your mobile SSL VPN to use radius authentication. Click VPN, then click mobile VPN. Under SSL, click manually configure. Select Activate Mobile VPN with SSL. If you haven't already done so, enter the primary Firebox IP address or domain name. Click the Authentication tab. From the dropdown, select Radius and click Add. You can also remove other authentication servers to ensure all users are challenged with second factor authentication. Notice the Users and Groups section. The default group authorized for WatchGuard SSL VPN is SSL VPN users. This group name must match the group name in the first factor authentication group attribute section of your login to see radius connector configuration. Scroll down and click Save. Now click the Advanced tab. Make sure the renegotiate data channel is a large number, like 30,000. Click Save. Your WatchGuard SSL VPN is now configured to use LoginTC. Now test WatchGuard SSL VPN using the WatchGuard mobile VPN with SSL client with both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using login TC. Open the WatchGuard mobile VPN with SSL client and enter your username and password. Click connect. Type one in the challenge window to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your WatchGuard SSL VPN securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.